Welcome to the latest updates on global affairs via the New Horizon Updates YouTube channel. As we delve into today's key focus, let's remember the global context in which these events take. We live in a complex, interconnected world where every action sparks a reaction and every decision has far-reaching implications. Our mission is to simplify this complexity and provide you with clear, comprehensive, and unbiased information. Today, we will be discussing a significant event that has occurred recently, a potent nuclear test explosion conducted by the United States in the arid lands of Nevada. This event comes on the heels of an equally important development, Russia's announcement of its decision to withdraw its self-imposed ban on atomic weapons testing. The timing and nature of these events raise profound questions about the possibility of an unprecedented nuclear arms race among the globe's most potent nuclear powers. The U.S. Department of Energy, the federal entity responsible for safeguarding and monitoring the country's substantial nuclear stockpile, confirmed that this test transpired recently on October 18th. The site chosen for the test was a desolate region in southern Nevada, where the results of such an experiment would not adversely impact the environment or risk civilian lives. The method employed in this significant test involved using chemical and radioactive isotopes to detect any atomic explosions that might be occurring abroad. It's important to note that while this event was technically lawful, it happened at a time when Russia had declared its non-compliance with the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. This treaty, though not legally binding, has been widely respected by both Russia and the U.S. since the end of the Cold War era. The simultaneous occurrence of these two sends a powerful message to the international community and potentially shakes the foundations of long-standing nuclear norms. These actions, coupled with recent strategic nuclear forces and missile tests, could potentially lead to misunderstandings or escalations. The precedent set by these tests threatens to tip the already delicate balance of power, fueling an arms race that could potentially destabilize international relations. The nuclear issue further complicates the strategic landscape, and some nuclear policy experts suggest an era of unrestricted nuclear activities may be on the horizon. As a result of these developments, the P5 members of the United Nations Security Council, consisting of the United States, United Kingdom, France, Russia, and China, are urged to consider new transparency mechanisms to reduce risks. However, the incorporation of China, France, and the UK into arms reduction might present formidable challenges. A central point of contention between Russia and the US is the potential involvement of these additional states in future arms control. Russia staunchly insists on the participation of France and the UK, while the US proposes the inclusion of China. The involvement of more parties in these negotiations could potentially introduce a myriad of political and technical difficulties, further muddying the waters of these already complex discussions. In another development that has caused a stir in the international community, the US has provided additional weapons to Ukraine. This includes updated versions of tactical ballistic missiles. In response to escalating concerns about the capability of Ukrainian forces, to penetrate Russian front lines effectively. This decision has been met with opposition within the US-US government, but was nonetheless put into action. Russian President Vladimir Putin has been vocal in criticizing the US's decision. He stated that such actions will not significantly alter the battlefield situation and could potentially extend the conflict in Ukraine. The international community watches with bated breath as these events unfold, shaping the future of the global order and defining the contours contours of future international relations. To conclude, let's remember that as we navigate these tumultuous times, our understanding of these events will shape our responses and our futures. The world watches, waits, and hopes for a peaceful resolution to these contentious issues. Russian President Vladimir Putin has criticized the US's decision, stating that it will not alter the battlefield situation and could potentially extend the conflict in Ukraine. Military analysts suggest that the Ukrainian military has strategized a position to regain control of the town of Poa and progress north towards the town of Panka. Two Ukrainian Marine Corps divisions have positioned themselves on the mainland near these towns, initiating a reinforcement of their presence. Ukraine's current location is in a zone previously under Russian control as a result of an ongoing campaign involving artillery and drones, a rise concerning Ukraine's capacity to uphold a prolonged presence in this region. Available footage from the location demonstrates Russian artillery aimed at Ukrainian forces near a railway bridge over the Dnipe River. Concurrently, Ukrainian forces are shown relocating from the initial conflict area towards a presumably secure location near the Antonov Bridge. 
Russian military expert Vladimir Rogov maintains that the situation in the area remains relatively stable, with both Russia and Ukraine persevering with artillery and drone attacks. Military blogger Vladimir Kulikovsky reported that the Ukrainian Marine Forces river crossing operation took place three days prior to intense artillery attacks on Russian positions near the Nipe River. Destruction of the boats used by Ukraine to cross the river was carried out by Russian drones, while Russian ground forces obstructed Ukraine from fully securing its position in the area. Ukrainian reconnaissance teams have also landed by boats and gathered in the village of Green and on Kazaki Island. Russian representatives disclosed that their forces have blocked four Ukrainian reconnaissance groups attempting to cross the damp river in Trunke province, which is under Russian control. Ukraine's actions, while risky, could potentially bring them nearer to the Crimean Peninsula and infiltrate Russian defenses at the Zap River, if successful. Ukraine recently received the ATACM's tactical ballistic missile system from the U.S., utilized to attack and dismantle Russian helicopters in eastern Ukraine. Russian commentators hypothesize that Ukraine might use these systems to aim at Russian positions behind the Nipe River to disrupt Russian ammunition depots more effectively. The Telegraph also observes that Ukraine's actions may involve the repetition of strategies used in the eastern regions of Japinia and Donbas. Western analysts evaluate that Ukraine is striving to move towards the Luhansk region, breach through Russian defenses, and establish new routes. With ATACM's missile systems present on the battlefield, Ukraine could possibly initiate an offensive against Russian-controlled territories near the Nipe River, aiming at Russian supply centers behind the front lines. Despite fewer Ukrainian units deployed, analysts acknowledge Ukraine's need for high-level coordination of artillery to establish and broaden their presence near the Damp River. Ukraine might face potential obstacles if they do not deploy additional forces. It is crucial to consider that the situation is dynamic and circumstances continue to develop on site. Thank you for viewing this video. For more content in the future, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Your participation is appreciated.